Hi, Ben here from Trident Fly Fishing. Today we're gonna to be talking about the top 10 must-have flies for permit. Permit are one of the most challenging fish that you can chase with a fly rod. And if you wanna increase those odds, you're gonna to wanna to pay attention to this video. Stay tuned. Before I start talking about these flies, I wanted to let you know about Trident Travel, which is our brand new destination travel service. And we've designed it using our years and years of angling travel experience to help you book the absolute best fly fishing trip every single time. And best of all, you'll never pay more than going direct through the lodge. And we never charge booking fees or credit card fees. And there's absolutely no better way to catch a permit than booking your next trip with Trident Travel. Number 10 on our list is the Avalon fly. Now the Avalon fly was designed in Cuba by Avalon, surprise, surprise. And this has really become one of the top permit flies, not just in Cuba, but worldwide. It's a fly that represents something in between a crab and a shrimp. It does so really well. And what's really unique about this fly is that it's designed by tying in a piece of monofilament and then sliding some beads onto it and tying it back in. And what that does is ensures that this fly is gonna swim right side up all the time. It's also got loads of rabbit fur that's just gonna give it tons and tons of movement in the water. Overall, it's just a fantastic permit fly. Number nine on our list is the EP Permit Crab. And while I'm not a huge fan of this fly, I feel like if you don't have one in your box, your guide is gonna give you a strange look. It's pretty much the standard permit fly anywhere in the world, and it's really just a variation on Del Brown's Merkin. Of course, the EP fly is better than the original Merkin because EP fibers don't hold any water and they're just way, way easier to throw. So if you're a guy who likes a Merkin but wants something that's better, go with the EP crab. Number eight is perhaps a little bit of a controversial choice here, but it is the squimp. And the squimp is a small shrimp imitation. And I've found that this is a great fly, especially in Ascension Bay and especially for tailing fish. And just seems to work better than say a mantis shrimp imitation when those fish are tailing. And I, I like this fly because of the way it swims. The positioning of the dumbbell eyes here allow it to have sort of a flatter profile in the water as it's stripping. Number seven is Kathy's Fleeing Crab. Designed by Kathy Beck, you're probably thinking, oh, this looks a lot like that EP crab. And well, it does, and certainly a variation of that crab fly. But what Kathy's Fleeing Crab does a little bit better than that EP crab is first off, it's a solid color, which for whatever reason, especially in Mexico, tends to catch fish better than that tricolor pattern. Another thing I like about Kathy's crab over the EP crab is that it comes in a smaller size and is just an overall smaller fly and especially has smaller dumbbell eyes. So one, it's easier to throw. It also makes less commotion when it hits the water and does not sink as fast. So you're gonna get a crab fly that swims just a little bit better through the water as opposed to bouncing along the bottom. Finally, we talked a little bit about the size of this. This fly comes in some fairly small sizes. So if permit are feeding on tiny crabs, you can get one of these off the shelf in that size, whereas an EP crab is just gonna be a lot bigger. Number six is the Kung Fu crab. Kung Fu crab is a great crab pattern that started out looking somewhat like a merkin, but has really evolved. It's got a hot spot that I really like, and these claws here made out of rabbit strips just give it that perfect defensive crab posture. So this is gonna be a fly that needs very, very little movement on the bottom and looks realistic enough to get eaten even if it's not in motion. As an aside, this also makes a fantastic crab fly if you're striped bass fishing. So keep one in your box no matter where you are. 
Up next is the Alflexo crab. And the Alflexo has been getting a lot of acclaim lately. It was designed in the Seychelles for those Indo-Pacific permit, but the reality is, is that if you need a crab that's gonna get down to the bottom fast, the Alflexo does it extremely well. It's definitely a realistic pattern, but not something that I would call hyper-realistic. It just is a great overall crab pattern and one that you're gonna to wanna to have in your box regardless of where you're going. Number four, a fly that we've talked about a lot in these videos is Viverka's Mana Shrimp. Classic Mana Shrimp pattern. This is just a fly that imitates a Mana Shrimp really well. And it can also, if stripped fast enough, look like a little minnow. Overall, it's just a fantastic pattern and one that works well in shallower water. So this fly is gonna have bead chain eyes and it doesn't sink really fast. So give it some short strips, get in front of that permit, it'll get eaten. Now we're getting into some of the top permit flies for anywhere in the world. And number three on my list is the raghead. And the raghead crab is one of, if not the absolute must have pattern for Ascension Bay. Permit just love it. Like Kathy's fleeing crab, it imitates a smaller crab than say an EP or a merkin. And for some reason, it just seems to work a lot better than those other flies. It's also available in tiny, tiny sizes. So if you need something that is gonna be super small to match those crabs in the area, you can get it in your raghead. Number two is the bower crab and its variations like the contraband and camo crab. Bower crab is your must have fly pattern for Belize, but the reality is it'll catch a permit anywhere they swim. It's just an awesome pattern and it works particularly well for those tailing fish and shallow water fish when a shrimp is not the ticket. And last but not least is my absolute favorite permit fly, which is the EP spawning shrimp. I've caught more permit on a spawning shrimp than any other fly. And it's just an absolute killer pattern. Mexico, Belize, Florida Keys, Seychelles, Australia. If there's permit, they will eat this and not just permit, but pretty much anything that swims and is in a flats environment, they'll probably eat this EP spawning shrimp. It's a super well-designed fly. It comes in lots of sizes and weights, so you can match it to the conditions. And it's got this great hot spot here that seems to just bring in this fish a little bit better than say, Viverka's pattern. And that's it. I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you've got any favorite permit flies that we didn't mention today, let us know by leaving a comment in the box below. And of course, all these flies are available from tridentflyfishing.com. I'm Ben, thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.